There are those, I am sure. Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about Hollywood 2020 on Netflix. Welcome. Uh, this is the start of a new series called Netflix and Phil. I watched Hollywood in its entirety, and it's a new Ryan Murphy series. Those of you familiar with Ryan Murphy, either you love him or hate his work, I don't know, but I enjoyed Hollywood. A lot of his projects are hit or miss for me, but this one was a hit. Uh, just to give you some backstory on it, one of the characters they emulate is based on this gentleman, actually, Scotty Bowers, who did indeed run a gas station that catered to the stars. And there's a picture of Rock Hudson right on the cover. This documentary alone is worth viewing, so I'll put a link in the description box so you can check it out. Hollywood follows these young, glamorous actors and actresses as they navigate the waters of Hollywood after World War II. Darren Criss plays a director. You might remember him from another Ryan Murphy project, The Assassination of Gianni Versace. And uh, he does great in this role. It's quite a bit of a 180 from what he did playing the killer, uh, Andrew Kananen, in that series. Yet he directs a film that is based on the life and death of Peg Entwistle. Now, Peg Entwistle herself is part of Hollywood lore. She was in a movie called 13 Women. And in the series Hollywood, the making of this motion picture, they take a lot of risks. Patti LuPone, who ends up being the, um, I guess you could say... CEO of the studio when her husband slips into a coma. She greenlights the screenplay Meg based on the story of Peg Entwistle. Now if you don't know about Peg Entwistle, she after learning that her scenes were cut from the film 13 Women decided to end it all because she thought oh I'll never make it in Hollywood and threw herself off the Hollywood sign to her death. If you like Ryan Murphy and you don't mind a lot of sex, there's a lot of sex in this series. The one thing that really I didn't care for, uh, if I had one comment, it's that Jim Parsons' role was a little bit too close to home. The thing about Jim and his role, you'll know him of Big Bang Theory fame. He plays a manager, a talent agent, who probably was not unsimilar to talent agents of the time, maybe even talent agents today. I don't know. But uh, he's a very unlikable character. Although it's well acted, it's just one of those characters where you're like, Ugh, because he's so manipulative and conniving, yet he kind of has a redemptive arc at the end of the series. Anyway, check it out. Ryan Murphy's Hollywood is a lot of fun, well shot, a uh, period piece if you like those with a lot of sex. <sighs> Thank you for joining me on the first episode of Netflix and Phil. Bye. Catch you later. Catch you at the movies. Bye.